everybody it's Jenny of Jenny Stitches I'm back for another week um, and today I'm going to have a chat with you about my autumn and winter sewing plans now before we get into it I am going to point out that the list of plans is quite substantial and now that I've committed and cut the fabric I'm kind of looking at it and thinking ah when am I going to get all the time to sew that bearing in mind that I've got to change the window displays for Christmas and other bits and pieces but I have decided that although this is quite a long list it's not for rushing it is going to be a nice slow burn kind of across the autumn and winter season so do not expect big results quickly <laughs> because we're not about rushing are we you know sewing's a hobby that we want to take a time over and yeah so let me get into it so first up is going to be um the tilly and the buttons olive pinafore um this is from tilly's third book make it simple um i've made a few things from this book already and as usual they're all fabulous patterns um but the olive pinafore i will pop a much clearer picture in for you here is a very sort of 60s inspired kind of design um and i think that's just going to be really cute for this kind of time of year with long sleeves or a nice blouse underneath so i'm quite excited to get into that one um the only thing i would say about it is that looking at versions that are made up on other people um it looks like it can be quite boxy and i think that's um true of some of the other modelled pictures further on in the in the book is that it looks quite sort of loose around the middle so I'm definitely going to make a twirl for that one and try and just sort of make sure that it's nice and fitted and nipped in at the waist which is the kind of style that I like. Um, so fabric wise for that one I'm going to be using this lovely burgundy eight whale card. This is currently out of stock I cannot tell you how much card I have sold in the last week. It is ludicrous, um, but I will be reordering it, so this one will come back in. It's kind of a car line, if you will, that always gets restocked. But yeah, it's like a wine shade. Very, very nice. I think, for me, that works quite well with my colouring. I'm quite fair, obviously, with dark hair, so and that is my natural hair colour. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting that one done, and I think it should be nice and warm. Um, you need, I think I'll show you on the picture, for this one it has sort of exposed snaps which is something new for me, I've not tried applying those before so I've actually got some snaps on order, I've been ordering those today um, like anorak snaps and I'll be giving those a go so I'll keep you posted on how that works out so that's item number one um, actually when I think about it and I look at them all together these fabrics do actually they almost feel like a little mini capsule wardrobe and they're all very very plain for me um i am a magpie for prints that's not i'm not gonna lie um so yeah it's quite a surprise to see me pick such a range of planes but it's definitely what i need in my day-to-day -day wardrobe so the next one i'm going to show you is the megan nielsen rowan tea now this is a fab pattern, it's very very versatile, um, I'll pop the cover in here again for you. Um, you've got a selection of necklines and sleeve lengths and you can make it either a t-shirt or a bodysuit. So I think you've got such a variety of options there that it makes the pattern amazing value. And it's, yeah, I mean it refers to it as an ultimate wardrobe builder and I would agree. So I'm excited to give this a try. I've tried several t-shirt patterns in the past and I always love making t-shirts but I'm always up for trying something new. Um, so I'm going to be making view C which is this roll neck but not in the bodysuit. I want to try the t-shirt on its own first and then I'll kind of progress to giving the bodysuit a go. So I'm going to be using one of these lovely new mini rib knit fabrics and this is in the blush colourway. Um, so this is going to be a very staple basic roll neck top for layering um, and that 
it's gonna look fab as well one with the pinafar you can see the two look really really nice together so I'm looking forward to giving that a go and then hopefully that'll be a really good wardrobe basic that I'll be able to sort of repeat and try the different styles and necklines I'm hoping that's going to be a kind of TNT tried and tested pattern so that's the Rowan t-shirt okay um also in <laughs> in the kind of hopefully TNT line um I am hoping to make and I'll have to pop a picture in the Jennifer Lauren I'm gonna have to look juniper cardigan I have had my eye on this pattern for such a long time it's been around quite a while now um, and I've always fancied giving it a go and there was um, a lady whose vlog I used to watch a few years ago I can't remember her name oh Amanda Amanda I saw a lot and um, I will pop a link below and she made this cardigan multiple multiple times um, all with colour snaps on and it was brilliant and since then I've always fancied a go but I've never really got around to it but I could definitely do with more sort of throw on just cardies to put over handmade tops and handmade dresses um, again back to the layering kind of situation so I'm going to make the view with the cropped view with the full length sleeve I like a full length sleeve um, and I'm going to be using, there's our favourite 430 alarm, I think it's the bank, I think when the bank set their alarms it kind of rings and it does it twice, so there you go, there's a fact. Um, I'm going to be using navy Ponte Roma, so again very plain, potentially a little bit boring but utterly wearable and useful. Um, so I'm really I'm really quite excited about this and again this is going to involve snaps um, I'm going to be having a go with the colour snaps and the pliers so any tips please let me know wish me luck but yeah a little cardigan and again that's going to coordinate really well with the other items that I've picked out okay another PDF only pattern here is the sew over it Nina trousers now I had a little look through, well a big look through all of my patterns the other day because I just had in mind that I wanted a pair of pleated trousers, you know some that are quite wide leg, comfortable but pleating at the waist. I don't even know where this desire has come from but that's what I was after and I just couldn't quite find what I was looking for but I still had my um, sew over it PDF club free code to use. So. Um, I decided to cash that in and get the Nina trousers to try and I'm going to be making them in this lovely aubergine stretch suiting so this is it has a 4% lycra so I don't know if you can see it's just got a little bit of give to it there um, and it's a very deep kind of purple aubergine eggplant kind of shade and it's got a very fine, don't dip it in the tea, very fine pinstripe to it in blue. So it's quite subtle, it's plain, but it's not over plain. So yeah, that on a pair of trousers is gonna be nice. I'm making a mess. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit nervous about the fitting for these, but I figure that being so wide and wide legged, if I can get the waist right, the rest should follow, but we'll see i often look online on instagram on facebook at sewing groups and i see people talking about trouser fitting and i'm thinking actually your trousers look fine to me but they've got all these fitting issues and so <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i think i'm quite easily amused okay um finally the last one is i am going to have a go at a coat i've never made a coat before um, it's one of those situations where I feel a little bit intimidated and it's probably not something to worry about but that can happen quite often can it and I, I find that a lot with customers they get a little bit intimidated by certain techniques or fabrics or garments and they quite often come back and say actually it was fine so um, the pattern that I'm going to use is Simplicity 8554 um, and this is a very simple, it says, it says easy to sew. 
so I'm going to hold it to its simplicity, it better have been. Um, it's a very simple unlined coat and it's got three different length options and I'm going to be going for the full length long swishy number. Um, it's got sort of soft lapels and a tie belt. So on a plus side, there's no closures, there's no buttonholes to be made, I don't have to put a zip in it. Um, and there's no lining to put in, so it doesn't get much simpler than that. I think the pattern itself is actually designed to kind of be for very lightweight fabrics like chambres and crepes it says on the back, sort of linen types. I think it's thinking more in a sort of trench coat kind of a way, but um, I'm not... Excuse me, I've done a lot of talking today. Um, I don't want a lightweight coat, obviously, because it's winter. So I want to use this, but use some of this lovely um, khaki green soft coat. So I did talk about this a little while ago on my coatings video. Um, and I just love it because it's it doesn't need a lining, which obviously we don't have a lining on this pattern. Um, and yeah, it's just soft. It's affordable and it can be machine washed which for me is quite an important factor because I am quite clumsy and I am quite prone to spilling food and drink all over myself and I have two small children so machine washable is always a plus in my book so yeah we'll see how that goes um I don't know I, I, I'm quite nervous about this there's so as, as a plan as a group I think I've got a couple of items there that I know will be fairly straightforward for me so the roll neck top and the cardigan feel like comfort zone very much knits and straightforward I should be able to knock them out the trousers and the coat I'm feeling a little bit more apprehensive about but sometimes you need that little push and a little bit of motivation so I will let you know how I get on with each of those items in good time so I hope you enjoyed that little peek at what I'm going to be making. Um, I hope to be back soon. I've still got my window to it to film for you. And unbeknownst to me, um, a whole big box of simplicity patterns arrived today. We've got a new catalogue in. So I might have to film a little video about those to show you soon as well. But I hope you are well. And uh, thank you for watching along. If you want to follow me on social media, it's in the usual places here. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please do like and subscribe and I will see you soon and have a wonderful weekend. Take care. Bye.